Hello, my fellow Pisces. I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading. Pisces, if you are here, you're meant to be. So let's find out why. Pisces, who am I connecting with today? Who is in your energy? What is happening? I had to replace the all-knowing wheel of emotion with the all-knowing deck of emotion. <laughs> and I said deck with an E, all right? <laughs> so what is the overall vibe today? The emotion, the emotion of today. We have passion in it, all right? So somebody's feeling very passionate here. This could be you, this could be another person. And the word passionate, I mean, that could go two different ways, right? Somebody could like be passionately in love with you or somebody could like have very passionate feelings for you in the opposite directions. I, you know, maybe this is you, maybe, <laughs> like I said, it could be you, somebody outside of you, but passion, passionate. All right, so let's see, let's hope it's the good one. All right, <laughs> so this first card is gonna represent you. Pisces. All right. We have the Six of Cups. Okay. So this could be a past person that you're dealing with. You could be reminiscing on someone from the past. Again, it could be good or bad vibes, but I, I'm also feeling a message of like, you know, this could be a, a past life soulmate coming in. We do have the Nine of Cups here at the bottom. So, I mean... You know, I'm getting, I'm not getting bad vibes here, but you know, let's see. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Let's get the energy outside of you. We have soon. So yeah, this could be an incoming soulmate. Sorry, these cards are a little faded, so you can't really see them too well. But um, so what else? Soon. And we have emotions. And now I'm thinking of Mariah, <laughs> Mariah Carey's song, Emotions. <laughs> but yeah, this... I'm feeling like this could be an incoming soulmate, somebody that you've had past lives with. I mean, this could be somebody that you've met earlier in life and they're, you know, making a comeback. But this is something, you know, that I feel is good emotions, a good passion, a good passionate feeling. This isn't somebody that you hate with passion, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, let's look at the, the hidden energy. But they're coming in soon, apparently. We have the Four of Wands, there we go. Soulmate. We have the Page of Pentacles. And one more here. We have Pat, are you kidding me? We have Passion, seriously? Um, I don't know, Pisces, I don't know about you, but it looks like something pretty heavy is coming in for you. And we do have the Ten of Pentacles here at the bottom now. I don't know, are you like winning the jackpot when it comes to your love life? Like, what is the deal? What is happening? And I split the deck to shuffle at the Six of Cups. Jesus, look at all these like repeating messages here. This is either somebody from your past, like I said, and it's not like a an ex that you hate, you know? It's not somebody that you don't want some kind of relationship with it could be somebody that you had a crush on in your childhood and like it, whenever you were going to school and then now you're all grown up and you come together somehow and you end up being with each other you know it could be something like that that's just an example or like i said it could be you know a soulmate a new soulmate that's about to come in somebody that you've had lots of lives with somebody that you share history with but you know maybe not necessarily in this life right so let's go through clarify starting with the six of cups all right we have the five of wands we have the five of pentacles so you know i feel like i'm connecting with a pisces who maybe you recently cut something out of your life Maybe you recently have kind of put yourself in this Five of Pentacles, and I'm not really getting a bad Five of Pentacles here. It's like you didn't care what it took. You just knew that some situation wasn't for you anymore. You know, with the Five of Wands, maybe it's very, you know, lots of drama. You just couldn't take it anymore, lots of fighting. And you had to take some leap of faith, you know, to just get out of there, even if you, you know, have to be alone for a little bit, even if you have to rough it a little bit, that wants to come to mind. <sighs> But you just, you knew that it was better to do this than to stay where you were. And I feel like that was definitely the right decision. So maybe if there is somebody here who's like questioning that, you know, doubting yourself, doubting your, your the decision that you made. Yes, you made the right decision. And it looks like somebody is going to come and fill that space up soon. All right, we do have the soon card. I do want to get one more card on this. We have the Empress. 
Taurus energy. You know, don't mind the gender of the card, but it's like you realize your worth. You realize that whatever situation you were in, it just, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth your time. You were worth way more than that. You know what I'm saying? And whoever you were with possibly didn't treat you the way you deserved. Okay, and you realize that you, I'm looking at her crown here. <laughs> and it's like, I just keep wanting to go back to like you realizing your worth. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Now I'm just repeating myself, but I want to say for the first time in a very long time, you found some kind of new like power in yourself. Maybe you hit some kind of rock bottom in that relationship or something like that. And, you know, you felt like you had no choice but to like be in the five of pentacles. And like I said, I'm not getting a bad five of pentacles. Maybe for some of you, it was a little rough after like leaving something or breaking up with this person or whatever. Because maybe you guys like shared finances or something like that. But and at the end of the day, I think you realize like you're way better off. Okay, so anyway, let's look at soon. We have the star. It's like destiny, wish fulfillment, Aquarius energy. We have the chariot incoming soon. Are you freaking kidding me? Cancer energy. Yeah, this this is destined. And we, we also have temperance here at the bottom, Sagittarius energy. So, you know, I'm looking at the chariot card and you notice the black and white sphinxes there at the bottom. It kind of represents, you know, the two different paths you could take. And because you like had the courage to leave this situation, even if you felt like scared, felt like, you know, you'd be in the five of pentacles and you didn't want to do it, but you did it anyway. You didn't want to be in the five of pentacles, I mean, but you did it anyway. Um, because you, you chose that, you chose that, even though, you, because you had the courage to do that. The, there we go. I can, I can form a sentence. Okay, great. <laughs> but because you did that, it's aligning you to um, a milestone. I want to say like a milestone in your life, because personally, I don't, I don't necessarily believe that every step of our life is predetermined, <laughs> you know, pre-planned, uh, because there is a lot of free will involved, right? But I do believe that we have these set kind of milestones. These are just my personal beliefs. Maybe you feel differently, but I feel like this is kind of a milestone in your life. And it kind of put you at a crossroads. I guess that's another way of like saying it. I feel like we kind of have these crossroads in life and we can use our free will to kind of, you know, take us down different paths, right? And I feel like this was a major crossroads for you. And I want to say that you chose right, even though I don't really think there is a right or wrong, but the path that you chose here, or maybe this could be future influence. Maybe this is somebody who's kind of struggling to finally leave something. But once you make that decision to finally cut that person out or cut this kind of cycle out where you end up with the same kind of people over and over again or t the same situations over and over again that just don't really serve you, just feels like you're spinning around, spinning around and you're dizzy as hell. <laughs> um, it's like you finally decide to cut that out and it takes you down a different path. But this path is like a level higher than, you know, if you were to stay on that other path. You know what I'm saying? So it's destiny. It's something that's leveling you up. All right. Hopefully I'm describing that okay. Um, but yeah, this is incoming. This is a part of your path. And it's all because you used your free will. You used your, your, your new knowledge, I want to say, like realizing your worth. I feel like whatever you've been through, it's been a journey of self-discovery, self-love. And you didn't let these people or this person hold you back anymore. I feel like there was a time where you're like, you know what, that's it. I choose me. Somebody here just finally decided to start choosing them, right? So, and that is level, leveling you up, okay? Energetically, you're going to be set on a better path. You're going to be more of an energetic match to people who aren't going to drag you down, you know? Because whenever you're stuck in that loop where you're with people who keep dragging you down or, you know, whatever the case might be, that's like all you know. That's feel like you start to feel like that's what I deserve. So because of that, that makes you, you know, an energetic match to those kind of relationships. But you're not an energetic ma match to that anymore. So you're attracting something higher. All right. So emotions. I'm thinking of Mariah Carey again. <laughs> all right. 
Mariah Carey. <laughs> uh, we have the Hermit. Um, Virgo energy. Lots of major arcanas. The last four cards that I pulled have been major arcanas. We have the Knight of Wands. It's like this person, they come in pretty quick. Again, we have soon. Um, but it's almost like with the Hermit. I want to pull one more on that, on the Hermit. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Fool. Yeah, okay. So Aries energy. They come in while... I keep wanting to go back to the term roughing it. I don't know why I keep wanting to say that. I look at that Five of Pentacles and it's like, you're roughing it. And I also look at that Hermit and I think roughing it. So I don't know if this could be like emotionally roughing it, you know, financially roughing it. But it was all worth it to get away from whatever situation you were in. Um, but they come in when you may not really be doing great. I'm looking at the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you're not doing great like financially or, you know, maybe you're kind of feeling like you're starting over, getting your life together. I mean, that could even be emotionally after something like that. But they come in during that period. And I feel like it's soon. I mean, we did, we, we did get that card that says soon. We had the Chariot. We had the Knight of Wands. Okay, anything else on that? We have the Ten of Swords, yeah. The past is finally over. So we have the Ten of Swords and the Fool. The Ten, number Ten, goes breaks down to a number one. So it's a brand new beginning. You know, energetically, you can't go back to where you were before. And I think you know that. And I think that's kind of... I think that's part of what helps you take this leap of faith. Because you have this new confidence. You have this new, like energy about you you're wearing a crown now all right <laughs> and even if you have to rough it i don't like i said i don't know why i keep saying that but even if you have to rough it it doesn't scare you you don't care because you're like anything has to be better than where i've been well maybe not anything but almost anything <laughs> you know where i'm going has to be way better than where i've been all right that's a better way of saying it okay so Four of Wands and the Hidden Energies, this soulmate. Let's get some details on this soulmate. I kind of feel like this whole bottom here, the Hidden Energy, is going to be describing them and how you might meet them. So Four of Wands, how are they going to be put on your path? We have the Three of Cups. Maybe you'll meet them through friends, some kind of celebration. I'm hearing wedding, you know, maybe a friend's wedding or something like that. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Lovers. Gemini energy. I'm gonna get one more. We have the Seven of Swords. So they're, it's like they're going through some kind of emotional burnout or burden too. We have Judgment. I'm getting kind of an interesting message here. <laughs> um, hold on, let me get one more before I say anything. So I don't want to, okay, Queen of Wands. So whoever this is, for some of you, it could be a friend of a friend. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get very specific here. Uh, so, so if it's not your message, that's okay. You know, I'm going to try and get other messages here. But for somebody here, it's a friend of a friend who's kind of going through something similar. And you're kind of guided to each other through a friend. Because whoever they were dealing with was like a Queen of Wands energy you know, male or female. I keep hearing that they were cheated on. Okay. And it's like a friend of a friend, or maybe it's like a friend of a co-worker or something like that. There is some kind of middleman here um, that you'll meet this person. Um, but the friend will be like, hey, you're going through something similar. You know, how about you guys talk? Maybe you guys can kind of help each other out. It's kind of a, a theme like that. Okay, but either way, I do feel like there is a middleman here. You're going to meet them through a friend, a co-worker. Yeah, just somebody somebody that you kind of know, both know. Okay, so Page of Pentacles, why is this here? We have the Four of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. <laughs> Again. It's like, and then we have the Sun. They come during a time of 
rest. It makes me go back to what I said at the, the Hermit card here. It's like whenever you're alone, kind of getting back on your feet, like getting your shit together, a time of rest, healing. It's like you're like basically just focused on you. That's when they come up. That's whenever they show up. That's when you're introduced. And with that page of pentacles, maybe you they could be somebody you know, like if you go to school. <laughs> I want to get another one. We have the nine of wands. We have the tower. It's like you're both going through a tower moment around the same time and then the knight of swords, yeah. You're, I think you're going to be kind of amazed at how much your lives kind of mirror each other. <laughs> um, that's something that's coming to mind. So with the four of wands here twice, it could be, you know, again, very like a very deep soulmate connection. You guys have a very similar path in life. Um, it could be twin flame, you know, for those who believe in that. I know everyone kind of has their opinions on twin flame or re relationships, but... Um, but it could also just be about that mirroring that I was telling you about. It seems like you guys seem to have very similar experiences in life. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe you're like the same like zodiac sign. <laughs> maybe you have like very similar placements or something. But I just feel like, yeah, you're just very similar. Okay, so let's look at passion. We started with passionate, we're ending with passion. <laughs> we have the Eight of Swords. We have the King of Cups, Water Sign Energy, and we have the Three of Swords. So lots of, oops, lots of emotional healing. We have the King of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Water Sign Energy, and we have the Magician. With the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords, you know, coupled with the Passion card, it's like you bring something out of each other, you know, something that may have been hidden for a while, something that th you felt like you couldn't express for a while. And there's this balance of like emotions, logic, you don't, it's like, yeah, there's this passion here, but it's not like passion to the point of like, you guys, you know, are in some like crazy whirlwind romance and it like burns out two weeks later. It's not. <laughs> Because it's all just emotional and like hormonal or whatever the fuck, you know, it's it's balanced. There's this balance here You pull things out of each other these this feeling of safety that you can express this passion you can express this interest And because of that you guys come you're stronger for it with the magician card you realize because you guys marry each other so much there's like power in that for the two of you, for whatever reason. It's like you have this complete understanding and almost like unconditional love, you know, whatever your beliefs are on unconditionally loving somebody, but um, there's just this total understanding because you've been through such similar things. There's a lot of healing. There's a strong connection, like I said. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So these last three cards that I wanted to pull are basically just anything else you need to hear. <laughs> and, you know, you're on the right path focusing on you right now. And that's what's bringing this energy in. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, you've cut out this cycle. As I said earlier, you out, you've outgrown it. You know it. You feel it. There's no going back because you've realized your worth. And, you know, something I, I've said before in some of my readings, like once you, you realize a truth, you can't unsee it. Like you've taken off those rose-colored glasses. You can't just go back to a situation that, you know, you felt like shit in thinking that that's what you deserve. Like you've reached some new level of confidence you started choosing you. You started choosing you and realizing it's okay to choose me, you know? I don't have to keep putting up with bullshit just to, to be loved, you know? And I think that was the biggest lesson that you've learned in this past cycle. And because of that, you win, all right? <laughs> so you have this new 
soulmate coming in. Um, there's going to be a lot of healing, like I said, and it's going to be very balanced. It's not going to be something where, like I said, emotions and hormones just take over and then it burns out really fast. It's, you know, head and heart here, very balanced, logic and emotion. But also very passionate, again, feeling safe to express, ex express, express that passion, all right? <sighs> okay, so... That is your reading today, Pisces. If that resonated or if you just enjoyed the reading, leave some banana emojis in the comments below or the middle fingers because I love the middle fingers. <laughs> um, also, I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in a personal reading, you can email me at bananachipstarot at protonmail.com. It's also in the description box. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.